What's up YouTube? So today I want to check out the Sony Xperia XZ and how it performs with the Brave browser. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So the XZ, it was an upgraded phone from Sony that had a very nice design actually. Very nice design, shiny display and all that. But especially it had a better back material that sort of looked a little bit exciting, you know? Uh, I don't think it... Uh, it was just a little bit of glass, which is good because then it's not gonna slide around as much, okay? So let's uh, first of all see what Android version we're running on here. It's Android 7.1.1, so pretty new, okay? Uh, I'm gonna open up the Brave browser, I'm gonna close out every tab, and let's start from the start, okay? So first off, it loads up Google very, very fast. Let's type in phone. The first thing I always hated with, um, with Sony, just in general, is their keyboard, their default keyboard kind of sucks. Their default keyboard kind of sucks. So let's just go to my favorite website, or not my favorite website, what am I saying? <laughs> uh, but the most bloated website, which is best to try scrolling. Okay, so the first thing I can see here is compared to compared to another phone I tested today, the Elephone S7, the scrolling here in the browser is actually a bit sharper because I can still notice the same kind of smoothness as on the Elephone S7, but I can notice that it reacts much faster to my inputs. It's, it, this one has a slight, um, it's a little bit slow, you know, it's a little bit slow to react, but this one, it's instant reaction. Let's see the loading time. If I open up an article, again, perfect. And the best thing here with the Brave Browser is I do not see any annoying ads okay because if we tap here you can see oh my god 31 ads and trackers blocked and I think that this is only the ads and trackers it is blocked on this specific page which obviously speeds things up if I go up here tap on the plus sign you can actually over here see the total amount of ads and trackers blocked and for example if I tap the keyboard here you can see that one of the first things I don't like here is this stupid suggestion bar here, I think you can't remove it. I don't like the extra padding uh, on all of the uh, buttons. This is kind of cool though. You can you can uh, type things by swiping. But obviously because of this is Android, you can change the keyboard, but even the default keyboard, it sucks. They should, Sony should copy what Samsung is doing with their keyboard, which is way more slimmer. It's way more optimized. But I love the speed here and the reaction time here. I don't see this slow Galaxy S2 UI or the Galaxy S2 that uh, it kind of lags a little bit. Here we have a new phone, LG GQ, 60 megapixel camera, five and a half inch screen. You can see that most phones have peaked these days. Oh my God, here we can see the vibrant of the display. So if I pop this thing up, up here very close, you can see how the Xperia XZ Premium has an extremely nice display that just pops out on you. I would prefer in the Brave Browser here that they had a reading mode uh, that doesn't seem to be uh, built in, something that I definitely would enjoy. But overall, very, very nice experience, mainly because of scrolling and of course the fast load speeds. So quick look at it here on the Xperia X Z. Uh, remember also that this one has a new update here. So it's probably gonna be even faster if I update to that. Yeah, have a great day everyone on YouTube.